I just made it to the second sea. And on my very first factory raid, I managed to get a portal food. So now I'm hooked. For the next 24 hours, I'll be doing non-stop factory raids. Starting with this one. And I died right when the door was about to open. I mean, I guess it could be worse if you get killed halfway through. But this is still unfortunate, okay? I gotta get the most damage if I wanna get that random fruit. To be honest, I still don't really understand how I got the most damage on my very first factory raid. I mean, little reminder, I was only level 700. And in the meantime, there's was with max level joining in as well. Anyway, as you can see, I still did everything I could to do as much damage as possible. Spamming those abilities, spamming those basic attacks. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. I did get a bunch of gold and XP, but that's not what we're looking for, okay? In 24 hours, you can only do 16 factory raids since it takes one and a half hour for it to spawn. So we're not starting off good here. I didn't want to make the same mistakes on the second raid. So right before it started, I made sure someone killed me, which gives me a PvP shield for 15 minutes. So at least I couldn't die this time. I also found out about a setting which shows you the total damage you deal, which is very handy for factory raids. However, it apparently wasn't handy enough because I still didn't do the most damage. So after three hours, I still didn't get a single fruit yet. I knew something had to be done. I think I'm simply just too low level. I mean, I'm competing against max levels over here who are also trying to get the random fruit. And I'm not about to spend 24 hours just to get one or two fruits. No, 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 no. So I decided to buy a private server. Uh-oh. I've only been playing this game for four days and I'm already throwing money at it. Anyway, I've already missed out on the first two drops. So at least this way, I'm guaranteed to get fruits from the remaining raids. Which is exactly what happened. But I got a bum fruit after almost five hours. I'm a bum fruit. After that, the gacha man was also ready for me to roll the dice. Which, um... Yeah, it went great. For my fourth run, I reset my stats. I wanted to measure how much time it took to defeat the factory core. After which, I wanted to do the exact same thing for my melee attacks. And then just pretty much find out which has the most DPS and which can defeat the factory the fastest. I could have probably also just looked it up instead of wasting Robux. But 44 seconds, man. At my current level with the blocks fruits maxed out. 44 moth seconds. And I ended up getting rubber fruit. Which is, yeah, once again, a horrible drop. Round number five. Only seven and a half hours into the challenge and the sleep paralysis demon is already taken over. This round when changing my stats, I maxed out my melee ability. I'm by the way still using the water kung fu that I got two videos ago. If you haven't seen that video, maybe check it out. And I was actually surprised how much damage it did. I mean, I thought the entire game was about blocks fruits, but no, apparently this deals more damage. To defeat the factory core, this time it only took 38 seconds, which might only be six seconds faster than the previous previous round, but if you want to do the most damage and get that fruit, those 6 seconds could be the difference, man. Sadly, I did end up with a spring fruit, though, so hopefully we'll have more luck in the next round. I decided to keep the stats from last round because apparently melee does more damage since it was faster, and at this point, I was 9 hours deep in the challenge. You can also sort of keep track from looking at my level. At the beginning of the video, I was level 800, so I've definitely been trying to kill a lot of hours by mindlessly grinding quests. But even after all these hours still no good luck we got a sand fruit you can barely see it i immediately tap out of the game at this point i was playing lethal company with my friends to keep myself awake which brings us to factory raid number seven yeah just more of the same stuff man abusing my left mouse button whilst slowly turning more and more sleep deprived besides that nothing really interesting happened this round even the bad luck streak continued another moth bomb fruit i did also get radioactive materials i'm not quite sure what you can do with with that, but this is the first time I got it, so it might be useful later, I guess. Round number eight. Different day, same sh Once again, started clapping the factory core like my life depended on it, and once again, ending up with a bad fruit. This time around, a light fruit. Great. I wanted to mix things up a little bit. I mean, I was getting pretty bored. I'm kind of confident about the damage I deal right now. I mean, I measured the times and everything. So yeah, boy went back to a public server. And let me tell you, the weirdest <laughs> happened. I'm just literally dealing no damage for some reason. Remember the damage counter I put on at the beginning of the video? Yeah, well, it ain't counting any damage right now. I still have no idea what happened. I think the core was just glitched or something. But you can literally see I did no damage. I mean, I didn't get XP, didn't get gold. 
not a random fruit, nothing. So let's quickly move on to the next round, bringing us to big number 10, finally hitting the double digits, but still not a single good drop. I was kind of pissed off about the previous round, so I stayed in the public server. I had a point to prove, okay? I needed to know that I could do the most damage. Even when taking it up to a bunch of dudes that are max level, I wanted to once again deal the most damage in a public server. And I actually did. Somehow I did 80,000 damage. That's almost half of the factory with like seven dudes there. But going to a private server did absolutely nothing for my luck. Spike food. At this point, I was getting pretty worried. I'm already 17 hours into the challenge and I still didn't get anything good. I was still pretty confident about my ability to do the most damage. I mean, last round I did 80,000. So surely it won't be a problem this time around. And although I didn't manage to do as much damage as the previous round, I still did the most damage. And guess what fruit we got? Another bomb fruit. Round number 12, still going strong in a public server. I got this. Easy. I mean, the last two rounds were no problem until I made a huge mistake. I didn't have the PvP cooldown, so in the middle of the raid, I got killed. I just completely forgot about it. I was pretty sleep deprived at this point. Anyway, this messed everything up and I didn't get a fruit this round. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake twice. I was way too tired at this point to operate like a normal human being. So back to the private server we go, baby. Oh, and look at the Buddha fruit I got now. It was for sale in the store for 1.2 million schmackaronis. So of course I had to buy that bad boy. I've been looking way too long for a Buddha fruit. I am gonna miss the fast traveling with my light fruit, but I couldn't miss out on the Buddha, man. And now the big question is, am I more lucky with my new fruit? Nope. Bum fruit again. Oh, no, no, no. We're getting towards the end of the challenge. And it's not looking great, man. Not great at all. After staying awake for such a long time, still nothing good. And I don't know what's up with the bum fruits, but it feels like I've gotten 10 of those already. At this point, I just really need a mythical. I don't care which one. Bro, even if it is a graffiti, I'll take it. But please, stop with the bum fruits. Ah, uh, number 15 already. The challenge is almost over. And all I got is bomb fruits. I did go up 400 levels in the last 21 hours. But I'm not happy with that. I need to get a mythical right now. Otherwise, this challenge is garbage. And you wouldn't expect it at this point. But against all odds, I finally got my first mythical fruit. We got a phantom fruit. <laughs> oh my god, finally. I was so worried that I wasn't gonna get anything during the challenge. Staying up for 24 hours for absolute absolutely no reason but we did it man and we still even have one raid to go the final factory raid after this i can finally go to bed you know what i don't even care what i get from this one i still can't believe that i finally got my first mythical fruit from last round so i'm fine with whatever if you want to give me another bomb fruit i'll take it but no 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 apparently the factory had different plans for me on the very final round i managed to get a control fruit that's insane crazy i have no idea what the chances are of that but holy sh after all this time two back-to-back -back mythicals making the 24 hours in my opinion very much worth it if you guys want me to do this again let me know in the comments and maybe check out this video bye bye